chooses to wear earplugs. That's yep. why he couldn't hear anything else. Yeah, and he puts him in pretty deep, yeah. too. Here's a look at the chaos of the first corner. Savachi and Roxon coming out. Watch on your left. Got it. That was that. Ugh. Both the Suzuki riders going down, and I forget who this was, but that didn't that didn't work out right either. That was, was that Mel Ross? I believe so. Yeah, the Australian rider. That's what winning looks like in World Super. Just body temperature wise, I mean, he's got to be just steaming inside that helmet, inside of his mind right now. Here's a look at Rox, and he got the start he wanted, was pulling away he wanted. The rear tire just didn't hang in there for him. Yeah, which is really odd. In this short world championship here in 2022, I've seen some really odd mechanical issues. Yep, we have for sure. Oh, look at that, dominoes. Dominoes falling, and I still, man, you, you probably you, you just wonder if Roxon couldn't have stayed out there and, and earned a couple of points, maybe something, you know? I know, I know. Wow. What a night it's been here in Melbourne, Australia. Really calling out his teammate there, Freezy. I, I I watched that replay a couple of times and it almost looked like Freezy went right. We're gonna take a look at it right here. It looked like Freezy moved over a bit. I wasn't sure. Brayton just confirmed uh, what that was. Taking a look at some of these highlights here from race three, Savachi out front, getting a little loose. On the Rick Ware racing bike, Roxon was solid, was really focused right here, put himself in a great position, rode a strong race, didn't make any big mistakes. Team let him know exactly where he needed to be. Right there, Savachi gets pretty loose where the pressure was on, but he still manages to win race three here at Marvel Stadium in Melbourne and has to be so pumped. Three years ago, he crushed his...